This is DIY Mushroom Tech with Chapter 1. General Introduction of the Whole Project My name is Daniel. I am from Germany, and I will be your host during this lecture series. I hope you will learn something useful. I am already looking forward to spend some time with you. This is the introduction to my lecture series. Next, I will show you the goal of my project. I will explain you why I started this project and how I structured it. At the end I have some general remarks. This project is all about mushrooms. But not just only mushrooms and not just mushrooms. It is about mushrooms, that can be grown at home using cheap DIY techniques. The focus will be on Lingzi or, Ganoderma Lingzi, also known as Reishi. It is a polypore fungus belonging to the genus Ganoderma. The Ganoderma Lingzi is an important medical mushroom. In all further slides I will refer to it just as Reishi mushroom. Of course, with the setup we will create and the knowledge you will gain, you can also easily grow gourmet mushrooms. On the picture we see the Heraceum arenaceus, which is also called lion's mane mushroom. It is also called bearded tooth mushroom, or pom-pom mushroom. This picture shows clearly why. Mushrooms are extravagant pets. They require some special attention by their owner. I will teach you the knowledge needed for growing them. That does include the mushroom life cycle knowledge as well as the technical requirements. So, how did I end up creating this lecture series? I started growing mushrooms in fall 2012. The picture shows shiitake mushroom on an oak sawdust block. I used basic shotgun techniques. Only very simple techniques. To strive, the mushroom needs specific humidity and airflow targets. As you can see by the mold in the right picture, I did not always succeed. My hobby was also kind of frustrating. Want went well was the creation of agar spawn in petri dishes and the generation of grain spawn in jars. I also tinkered a little bit with improving my setup. I tried to improve the humidity by adding an aquarium pumping system. As I never added any fans, my mushrooms were not that happy. But in hindsight I think, I was genuinely having fun. Soon I stopped growing them. Instead, I went out in the woods and hunted them. I found some great spots. The species I picked also tasted great. But in the woods, there also were many ticks and the time also had to be right. One day, I just did not go anymore. Six years later I started my 3D printing journey. My first printer was the Anycubic i3 Mega. Next, I got an CO2 laser. I really used it a lot. I mainly lasered out pictures and invitation cards. During the fall of 2020 I started building a robot. Until now, I only finished the mechanical part. The AR3 robot is a great open source project. The documentation is superb and inspired me for this work. Thank you, Mr. Annan. As COVID-19 arrived in Europe and a strict lockdown followed I questioned my motives. What did I want to do with the robot in my basement? So, I put the robot project on hold and went back to my roots. Mushrooms. I took my old stuff out of storage, and soon after I had designed and built a small growing environment. This time Arduino microcontroller were readily available, so I did take the time to learn some electronic and programming skills and created a small controller. I also professionalized by using a bigger tent and I got two humidifier. As you can notice by having a close lock at the mushrooms, the airflow was still missing. Soon I added a waterproof airflow with HEPA filtered air intake. I also abandoned the Arduino solution to create a simpler one. My controller board can easily be replicated, and no programming is needed. You only need to wire the components correctly. This time the mushrooms also are so much happier. Writing this in summer 2022 I am proud to be able to share this project with you. Here you see nearly my complete setup. Only thing missing is the shelf wall where I put my jars and bags. As the setup is simple, 
I do believe that everyone can become a successful mushroom farmer. Next, I will show you a video of the tents. Since this project is multi-layered, I decided to take an unusual approach. I produced this video in a way, that it can also be used as a printout. That means you can use it offline, or even use just print some single pages of it. All the design that are shown can also be downloaded. What will my lectures contain? Let us have a closer look. These are the topics that will be covered in this training course in order that you can gain full control over the mushroom production life cycle. I will start with the necessary knowledge of how to prepare good growth medium and transfer mycelium from one stage to another until fruiting. This will include agar spawn in petri dishes, grain spawn in jars, wood spawn in plastic bags and fruiting. For all these steps I will provide the needed recipes, that I have successfully used. Procedure videos will also be included. The next step will be that I show you, how to set up all the technical equipment. Right now, there are many options how to realize this project. I decided to use common and cheap DIY electronic parts that are also used in many Arduino or Raspberry Pi projects. No programming is needed for the final design. One only needs to connect the components. Here you see the air system and the humidifier that will be connected to the controller. You may need a 3D printer, or a friend who has one. Get a printer. 3D printing is fun. To further polish this project, I am aiming to create an extensive FAQ section. That means, 
that anyone running into a particular problem, or is simply just looking for an answer to one question, will find a solution very fast. This special chapter FAQ will not be created until the end of the project is reached. I want to finish this video with some general remarks. These are my internal drives, that motivated me to do this project and to continue working on this project. Of course, there are many benefits in cultivating mushrooms. I profited mostly from the health-related attributes by integrating high-quality food into my daily diet. I gained a deepened technical understanding by creating a cheap setup for controlling the environment. Also, very important is, that I growing mushrooms improved my character by forcing me to developing patience, modesty, and an open mind through the challenges of the process. With this training course I am trying to give something back by spreading the needed knowledge to successfully grow mushrooms. Please contribute to the comment section by sharing some knowledge. Please think before you post your comment. Is it true? Is it helpful for someone? Or does it inspire someone? Is it even necessary? And overall, always check, is it kind? Words can hurt. Please help this comment section to become a place of constructive knowledge exchange. That means, I want to invite you to post additional useful information in regard of the topic of the video. In the next video we will investigate the tutorials. I will explain you, which specific topics will be covered. After, I will give an overview over the parts that I manufactured for the growing process. Before we start. I did put a lot of work into this lecture series. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe you want to consider to buy me a coffee? There is a serious reason why I ask. In life there is balance everywhere. Summer and winter, day and night, hot and cold, and so on. It's obviously natural, that taking and giving is also a polarity that needs to be in balance. Only when there is balance can we, as humans, achieve harmony and genuine happiness. That means, if you take something for example from the internet, you should also give something back. Please check for yourself if your life is in balance. If you want, you can support me with a donation. That would be great. You could also support any other good project. Send someone a smile, leave somewhere a nice comment, or just be joyous and spread some love. I hope I could get you interested in my take on growing mushrooms. Thank you for tuning in. I am looking forward to see you in my next lecture. Auf Wiedersehen.